Hey everyone, this is Zuthris, and welcome to another video on Elite Dangerous. So, here soon they're going to be releasing a new update from uh, 1.3 to 1.4. And what that's going to add are three new ships, and then also it's going to add a uh, game mode called CQC. And essentially what this is, is a matchmaking system 4v4, capture the flag, team deathmatch, or um, just normal deathmatch. And so I wanted to show this off a little bit. It's actually a pretty cool feature. And for people that, that want a little bit more fast action pace, this is a good solution for that. So essentially you're flying really small ships around space stations or astro belts. And uh, you just die, respawn, and keep going until one of the teams win. Now, let's see, hold on. Now, it's it's a, it's a pretty cool system. You, there's only three ships you can fly at the moment in this mode. Uh, you have a Condor, which is actually a new ship that they just added. Hold on, I'm actually selecting it. It's actually a really, really light fighter. Now this was kind of an NPC thing for a while, they had these ships, and uh, now we get to fly in this mode. I don't know if they're going to bring it into live mode or not, they really should, uh, because I think it, it would just be fun to fly around with this thing, even though it doesn't. it's not FDL capable, which means it can't go in between star systems. I don't know if it's super cruise capable, but basically some of the larger ships should be able to carry these things around and it would be cool for players to fly in them eventually. The Sidewinder, the most basic ship in the open current form of the game that you start out in. And then an Eagle, which is just a, a more combat oriented Sidewinder essentially. So this one obviously favors a little bit more maneuverability. This one has a lot more armor. So this one you can consider it to be the tank, the hybrid, and then the full DPS kind of uh, attack ship. So I'm already in queue to a match, hopefully. And we'll be taking out the Condor, show you guys how quickly this thing is. It's definitely the most maneuverable ship in the whole game right now. And it's pretty fun to fly and shoot at some people. There's different loadouts you'll unlock once you rank up using this system. And as I said, this is a really early access uh, look at CQC and everything. So I'll be back once we kind of get into a game and start flying around and shooting at people. I am using a joystick. Uh, it's very basic. It's just a simple uh, SciTech Cyborg X actually pretty old uh, I mean I've had this thing for years uh, just on a whim I was like oh I need a joystick for maybe War Thunder and ne needless to say really uh, nothing really it didn't really get used much until I got Elite and it's not fancy it doesn't have too many buttons but I am also using voice attack and what that allows me to do is say commands, and you'll probably notice this during the recording that I'm going to be talking a lot, and I'm not really talking to you, I'm talking to more my ship, and what will happen is the computer recognizes the voice command and then hits a hotkey for me. And so for example, I can say, I don't want to say anything command-wise for a ship, so why don't we just ask, uh, what is a galaxy? A large grouping of stars. Galaxies are found in a variety of sizes and shapes. Our own Milky Way galaxy is spiral in shape and contains several billion stars. Some galaxies are so distant that their light takes millions of years to reach the Earth. A galaxy can also be described as a massive, gravitationally bound system consisting of stars and stellar remnants, an interstellar medium of gas and dust, also dark matter. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you know, it's, it's a really cool thing to have. It really brings up a lot of immersion. I have a voice uh, kind of preset, and I purchased that for like $10. Um, yeah, they're pretty easy to find. You can find these online if you guys are interested. But as I said a little bit ago, before I started rambling on about kind of the kit that I am, or very light kit that I am running, 
Uh, I'll be back once I get a match. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be loading into a team deathmatch here. And uh, essentially, Five, we're going to be going around and shooting two, some people, hopefully. One. Here we go. Engage. Now I'm going to go ahead and redistribute my power to basically f engines and weapons equally. Boost. Oh, come on. Boost. Thank you. Now, if I'm going to be talking to you guys and the computer at the same time, essentially what needs to happen is... is I need to basically make a break in my speech. Okay, they just stopped dead in their tracks. Did not expect that. Let's try this again. Boost. No. Boost. After bonus, maximum engines. About time. I guess I have to leave a big, bigger delay when I'm trying to get the computer to do something for me. So we're chasing the Sidewinder around. This is, again, one of the basic ships in open, and he's just stopping. I don't want to ram people. Deploy, chef. Oh. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. Now, if I can get to this thing and get cloaked, there are power-ups kind of spread throughout the maps. There we go. I can't be targeted now. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. And it's cool to hear Astra. Uh, that's the name of my voice pack. Speed surge. Kind of talk to me every time I give it commands. This thing's so quick. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Okay, so I'm going to follow Kravis, or Voss, if the K is silent. I don't know for sure. And, you know, support my wingmate here. Oh. Let's get this Sidewinder off of him. Kind of running out of power for our weapon, so let's go ahead and just assign a couple pits. There we go. A little faster rate of fire on that. Target destroyed. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. Oh, someone's messaging me on Steam. Hmm. Guess that'll have to wait. Anyways, it's a lot more fast pace than normal elite, which is great. The pl uh. I died way too quick there. There is a leaderboard that we can check out while we're waiting to spawn. I'm basically 1-1-1 one, one, and one right now. Nah, the best start in the world. That's okay. Let's go ahead and keep assisting our team as much as possible. No. Don't do that. I'm far more agile than you, Sidewinder guy. If you don't start moving, I'm gonna get behind you. Oh, boost. No, boost. See, this thing's not working very well because I'm not probably speaking clear enough. This thing usually works phenomenal. Deploy, chef. Deploying, chef. Thank you. Where'd this guy go? This is the team. Really want to try and focus your fire. Target Boost. Destroyed. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Let's go ahead and get rid of the sidewinder on our tail. Oh. Deploy, chef. Deploying, chef. Shields offline. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. All right, so we're gonna try and run away to get this power up, which should restore our shields, which is something we really need right now. Come on, get in there, don't crash. Thank you. Shield boost. Shields online. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. All right, there we go. We're up nine to three, which is good. My team is actually holding their own for once. It's actually pretty annoying when you're 
get stuck with a poor team. The sound effects for this game are just phenomenal. Um, and I wish I had Track IR or something to just make the gameplay even better. Nope. Boost. Target destroyed. Man, boost is just not registering right now. Deploy, Chef. Deploying, Chef. Now, what is on me right now? Oh, he got killed by Voss. Let's go ahead after this sidey here. Oh. Alright. Boost. After burners, maxing engines. Boss is definitely assisting, and I'm assisting him here. Boost. After burners, maxing engines. Deploy, Jeff. Deploy, Jeff. Okay, I rammed him like a noob. Under attack. Can I get away? No. Alright, let's just check the leaderboard. Vas is a really good player. I was actually playing with him earlier. Um, he's very elusive. And he's really good at just kind of laying low. And then he comes out behind someone and just kills them. It's a good strategy to do. Boost. After burners, maxing engines. Target destroyed. Now you get more points and XP based on how many kills you get. That guy's deploying chaff again, so we'll just kind of wait, line it up. And then you're pretty much free to burn. Boost. There is an invisible wall. If you start leaving the map area, what will happen is your ship will just self-destruct to prevent people from basically avoiding combat too much. This sidewinder is on me. Just flip around. Oh, went too far. This thing's so maneuverable. I'm not used to this because... And open, you know, there's no ships that are this maneuverable. Closest thing is an eagle, but this one has an edge on that, even. Now, let's see. Cabal's in trouble. Boost. Actually, no, I don't want to boost. This is fine. So the target's here. Get that guy off me. Deploy, chef. Deploy, chef. Thank you. Now, obviously, he deployed his because, you know, I deployed mine. Is he just flying backwards? Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. Target destroyed. No, please don't kill me, guy. Under attack. Deploy, chef. Uh, you deployed it too late. Astra. Getting me killed. I'm 5-3 and three right now, which is not the best by any means. I think the best I've ever done right now is 9-1. and one. Uh, And that was fun. It was a station map where there was a lot of crevices and stuff, so I could dip in and out of combat a lot. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Take out the large target here. Okay, shields are down, and he hits an asteroid. There we go. And Vas stole my kill. But that's okay. I'm more worried about winning. It's 22-7 and seven right now. Uh, we're most likely going to win this one. Boost. 
afterburners, maxing engines. Let's go ahead, flip this around. Target destroyed. I feel bad for the other team right now. They're just getting crushed. We're all together, they keep coming in one at a time. And just all three of us are hitting them. Deploy chaff. Deploy chaff. Boost. After burners, maxing engines. And we won. So that's how uh, those games can go. That was a really quick one, for sure. We got about 700 points. Not the best. Five and three, four assists. It's all right. I'm the highest rank here, though. I could be using another ship that probably would do very well. Oh, we ranked up to 10. That's cool. And this one is uh, just another team deathmatch one. And I might do one more. So once this one starts loading in, we have a minute wait. Um, I'll come back in and we'll just start shooting some more ships. This is a lot of fun. Uh, it can break up the monotony of Elite because Elite right now is just very grindy. It's not really their fault. Uh, it's a giant game. It's massive. So I can't really blame the developers to a whole lot. I mean, you, you can do missions and stuff, but they're very repetitive. Same with trading, same with mining, same with bounty hunting. But the potential for greatness is off the charts. So it's, it's just exciting to uh, do something a little bit more PvP oriented without having to worry about losing your ship that costs millions of credits. All right, let's try this. I think I equipped new weapons. Yes, plasma repeaters. They're basically like little Gatling guns. And I think it's two on three right now. Someone did end up leaving. So let's see if my teammate will follow me. All right, let's come out. Oh, that looks so cool. I like that. Oh, boost. That looks so cool. These guns are <laughs> so cool looking. Why is that not in the base game? Alright, so it looks like I have to aim at that little dot that's slightly ahead. Oh, deploy, chaff. Deploying chef. Boost. After burners. Max engines. Alright, let's strafe around a little bit here. Our allies taken out. Oh crap. I'm being taken out. Oh, I'm dead. Who killed me? Cabral. I don't know who you are. Who's on my team? Vass? Vass is a good one to have on my team. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Uh, to escape all elegantly through this tunnel. There we go. Woo! Don't get to do that enough in the main game. Target destroyed. Baited. That was nice. Alright. Where's Vas going? Let's follow him. Ah, shoot, we need to reload. Attack. 
boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. All right, Vass is so going to get this kill. Good on him. He was operating as his wingman at this point. Target destroyed. Now, I don't think this weapon takes much power consumption. So we might be able to address some of that. Oh. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. There we go. Oh, this new weapon's so cool. It cuts through hull. It's not. Oh, boost. Okay. Let's just get out of combat here. So my shields can regenerate. It's perfect for the best. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. Oh boy, this is gonna be bumpy. Okay, let's uh, take our sweet time. Ambush in the tunnel. Boost. Afterburners. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. That's what you get when you try and do silly maneuvers. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Oh no, Vas is in deep trouble right now. Actually, he's doing fairly well for a 2v1. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. So this guy, essentially what he's doing is he's getting away from me. And then just turning around. Under attack. Shields up. Oh, we got each other on that one. He's actually really good. He, he does flight assist off. And so that really helps with his turning radius. I would do that, but I'm not very good with flight assist off right now. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Oh, shoot. Boost. Deploy chaff. Alright, let's 
go out to this condor now. They're fighting really close to our spawn, which will hopefully allow us to do some quick maneuvers if we're the ones to die early. Let's catch up to this condor here. Deploy, chef. Deploying, chef. After burners, maxing engines. Oh no. Of course. Shields offline. Is he flying an eagle now? Yeah. So he probably switched to something more maneuverable than that sidewinder he was flying. Specifically so that be harder for us to outturn him. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Attack. Deploy hard. Deploy chaff. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Oh my goodness, that Cabral guy is just on me like no other. Fine. Two can play at the Eagle game. That's what I'll switch to next next round, guy. Yeah, I suck on that. Target destroyed. Tell you what, I'm gonna grab a boost here. Cause there's a weapons one. Or completely nick the wall like an idiot. All right, let's go out this way. I don't know how long this weapon in the hands is going to last, but it's definitely not long enough. Nah, no, it wasn't even really worth getting. It didn't last nearly long as we wanted it. Really playing with the throttle helps a lot. Deploy chef. Deploying chef. Target destroyed. There we go. That was much smoother than last time. And we come out right behind this guy. Uh, shoot, he just got a speed boost. That really helps him. Where'd he go? I have no idea where he went. Let's go back to Vass. See if he needs assistance. Oh yeah, he does. Deploy, chef. Deploying, chef. Who's? Afterburners, maxing engines. Oh god, I won't make that. Oh boy. Can't 
Can I catch him? Can I catch him? Oh. Deploy chaff. Deploying chaff. Under attack. Two Boost. After burners. Maxing engines. Module malfunction. Ah, uh, I couldn't get away. Let's go. Let's try the eagle. This is something I flew a decent amount in open. Oh, by the way, this is apparently going to be a longer episode. Boost. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. Flight assist off. Flight assist, Flight assist off. off. Shields offline. Woo! I'm not nearly as good with flight assist off. I'm spinning. Flight assist off. No. Nope, I'm a lot better with the condor, I think. For some reason, my beams weren't tracking, so that was a problem. Go ahead and get over. Boost. Afterburners. Maxing engines. Deploy chaff. Five, Deploying chaff. Four, three, Got him. There we go. So that is a look at the CQC update for Elite Dangerous. I'm sure things will change by the time we get out of beta. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.